Peace. Yo, peace to the true and living. Peace to the guards, the earths, the, and the babies. Peace to everybody that's listening to this video or viewing this video. My name is Unique Lashim, a law understanding. Yeah, I be the guard. Um, I was raised in New York, which is now why, you know what I mean? Um, I told y'all I was going to come back and build with y'all and just let brothers and sisters get some understanding to the mathematics. So let me just give y'all a little, my understanding of the mathematics so y'all can gather some clarity on whatever you're dealing with. All right, check it out. The first um, numeral in the supreme mathematics is one, which symbolizes knowledge. Now, what is knowledge? Knowledge is to look, to listen, observe, and analyze the situation for what it really is, not for what it appears to be. Knowledge is first, because it's number one, like the numeral one, right? That symbolizes it. Knowledge is the foundation of all things in, in existence. Because everything begins with knowledge. You either look, you listen, or you observe what something is, and then you deal with that. So that's the secondary factor. Knowledge is the key to all aspects of life. Knowledge is symbolic to the black man, and it's also symbolic to the sun. The reason why is because the sun is the foundation of the solar system, and the black man is the foundation of his family. Meaning he's first. That's just in a chronological order. You feel me? No disrespect to no any wisdoms or whatever who might take this offensive. Wisdom means woman. But no disrespect to any woman that might take this offensive because I say the black man is first. But that's just the law and order of the chronological order. You understand what I'm saying? Dealing with numerology. But anyway, knowledge is first. So, all of y'all take notations. Knowledge is first. That's in your supreme mathematics. Now, wisdom. Wisdom is second. Wisdom is symbolized by the number two in our supreme mathematics. Wisdom are the wise words spoken by a wise person. Wisdom is the ways and actions of the said above person, any person. Wisdom is also symbolic to the black woman. Because she's secondary to the black man. She's secondary, but most necessary. Because she helps him bear the understanding. You understand what I'm saying? And your wisdom, the way you speak, that gives people an understanding of you too. And your ways in action, that's wisdom. And that gives people an understanding of you too. All right, so moving on. Number three in supreme mathematics is understanding. Understanding is the black child or the child. Understanding is symbolized on a universal flag. That's our flag, the universal flag of Islam. The understanding is the star. It's a five-point star, which is at a 72-degree angle. And the five times 72 equals 360, which is a complete cipher symbolizing the baby which is the greatest part of life, the cream of the crop that rises. And I won't say to the top, because the top is a limitation, but just rises infinitely. You understand what I'm saying? So that goes out to our babies. So that's why you must teach and educate your babies. That's the understanding. And the understanding is to visualize things with a crystal clear degree of clarity. That's what understanding is as well. So moving on. Number four in the supreme mathematics is culture and freedom. Culture is our divine way of life, which is Islam. The acronym for Islam is I self, Lord, and Master. I stimulate life and matter. I sincerely live out of law's mathematics. You understand what I'm saying? And our culture is our divine way of life. So that, that's what makes us live in a godly, a godly livelihood, you feel me? Or earthly livelihood, you know what I mean? Supreme beings, so we carry ourselves as such. You understand what I'm saying? Now, freedom is to free your mind from a state of ignorance because we all were dumb, deaf, and blind. 
before we got the knowledge of ourselves. So once you get the knowledge, it gives you power and it gives you the power to see things. You feel me? Which is visualizing with your third eye. You feel me? And freedom is just to be free physically and mentally, mentally and physically. All right, let's move on. Number five is power and refinement. Okay, power is the ability to increase your mental and physical endurance by doing something beneficial for yourself as well as others around you. That's like being able to help your family in any way, whether it's mentally, physically, financially, emotionally, whatever they're dealing with. And just being able to just be there for your family and having the power to maintain your composure and just deal with that cipher. That's power. You feel me? Um, power is also the ability to dominate over others. But you must use your power wisely and correctly. Because when power is abused, things turn out bad. You feel me? So don't abuse your power. That's like an uh, example of that. If you start studying mathematics and you get very articulate and you get very wise and brilliant, don't take advantage of people or um, try to manipulate people that are not on your mental level because that's abuse of your power. You feel me? And just bullying people or whatever and being out of the behavior of God and earths and babies, which is our divine way of life, that's abusing your power as well. You feel me? So don't do that. Um, refinement, refinement, that's to be clean mentally as well as physically. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we always dumb, deaf, and blind. So once you get knowledge of yourself, the knowledge stimulates things in your cerebral, cerebellum, and your medulla, that which is your brain, and you start elevating to seven and a half. You go, well, we all have seven and a half ounces of brain, um, brain in our head. You know what I mean, men. And when you utilize a lot of your seven and a half of your um, medulla, cerebrum, and your cerebellum. It activates different things in your penal gland and it taps you in to your third eye, which is your mind, and you just control life. Like, um, the mind is the sole controller of all elements inside the circumference of 360 degrees, which is life. You feel me? So, we use our mind for everything because you have to think before you act. You feel me? So, you have to deal with refinement mentally as well as physically that just you know bathing your body and keeping your situation good like your surroundings your cipher like if there's negative things in your cipher get that away from you and that's refinement as well you feel me moving on number six is equality equality is to share to deal with things equally you know what i mean like i learned something I want to teach people that I love the things that I learned so they could grow or just teach anybody just to be, you know, the duty of a civilized person is to teach the uncivilized. So that's what we do. That's showing our best sign of equality or just sharing with somebody, period. You feel me? So that's what equality is. And equality is also the limitation of the wisdom, which is the woman. You feel me? And, and also the wisdom is physical things. Because all physical things have a limitation. You feel me? Because the wisdom has six ounces of brain. You know what I mean? And she can elevate above the devil if she exercises her full potential. Because the devil also have six ounces of brain, which is limited brain. You feel me? And the God have seven and a half ounces of brain. You feel me? So that's what equality symbolizes as well. All right. We're going to go to seven. The numeral seven. The numeral seven, that is symbolizing guard, which is a law. And a law is arm, leg, leg, arm, supreme head, which is you, black man. You feel me? Whether you want to believe it or not, but that's a law. A law is you because you got an arm, you got a leg, you got a leg, you got an arm, 
and you got a head, but you got to make your head a supreme head because I was just telling you all about the penal gland. And once you tap into your third eye, which is your mind, and you start to perceive different things on a whole astronomical level or infinite level, because we live on an infinite plane, you feel me? Because we have, we have no beginning, no ending, only in a physical form, because I told you before, all physical things is limited, so that's why your physical composition returns back to the physical, to the um, to the um, triple state of darkness. That's where you go in a spiritual plane. But I'm not gonna get into that. But your physical composition resides back to the, the dirt or whatever. Okay. Um, seven, seven. The numeral seven is the mathematical terminology for the creator of the universe, who is a law, because. We created all of this, you know what I mean? Now you might say, Lashing's bugging out or whatever if you don't have no knowledge of this, but there's called mental and physical, and the mind is the sole controller of all elements inside the circumference of 360 degrees, which is life, like I told you before, right? So, mind made matter. Now matter consists of solid, liquid, and gas which are physical entities. You understand what I'm saying? Or physical objects, whatever you want to classify it as. But mind made matter. So the mind made the sun, the mind made the sky, and the mind is your purest thought. That's like, if you return back to the physical essence of life, you can go back to a triple state of darkness. So you're not going to exist no more physically but you're going to exist mentally always because we live on an infinite plane. Your mind is always going to exist, right? So we can come back into the physical plane if you tap into your mind enough. You know what I mean? Your destiny is how you guide yourself with your mental. So that's why I'm giving you this knowledge so y'all can elevate. But that's seven, which is God. You know what I mean? God is you, black man. The supreme being black man from Asia, life giver and life taker, taking his rightful name as a law. You feel me? All right, let's move on. Number eight is build and destroy. Build means to add on by doing something beneficial for yourself as well as others around you. Okay, so when you build something, you build a house, somebody's going to live in it. Somebody's going to benefit from it. When you teach yourself knowledge and you get mad powerful, because knowledge is power, power, right? So when you study and you cram real hard and you gather a lot of knowledge, which is by look, listening, and observing, you gather a lot of knowledge, right? So when you gather a lot of knowledge, you want to share it with your children, which is equality, or share it with the people you love or share it with anybody, right? So once you do that, that's called building, you feel me? Because you building, you're doing something positive and constructive that benefits somebody. So that's what build is. And build born's understanding. We'll get into that later. Okay. But destroy is the opposite of build. So when you destroy, you take away from something, right? That's devilish ways of action. Just destroying something. But not always. Because sometimes we have to destroy things in order to build something better and positive. You feel me? So sometimes destroying could be beneficial, but that's building then, you feel me? But when you're really destroying, that's when you're manipulating things and you're doing things on a negative aspect, which is not godly, you feel me? Or not earthly, or not like the true and living that we are, you feel me? All right, let's move on. Number nine is born. Born means to bring it to existence. Like, see, when a baby is birthed into physical existence, it takes nine months usually. Not all the time, but it takes nine months usually. You feel me? And that's born, which is to bring into existence. But also, born is to bring into existence. Like, well, I don't have one of my keep low shirts on today, right? But I had a thought, like, let me just make a, a logo for my production company. So I was like, all right, my production company name is Keep Low. We're doing underground music. You know what I mean? It's like straight out of the gut of the project. You know what I mean? I grew up in Eden World Project, so, you know, it's just like some straight out of the gut or whatever. So it's like, 
And not saying the gutter is bad, but you know, cause we we build, you know what I mean? But um, so I was like, it's underground music. So I said, the lines in the street and the manhole cover, cause that's underground. You know what I mean? So I made my t-shirts and that's born too. Because I brought a thought from just a thought into physical existence. You know what I mean? That's like, I thought what kind of children that I have. And all my children came out just like I wanted them. Beautiful. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all feel the same. So that's born too. Because once a thought is activated positively and put into positive activation, the creativity of the thought just comes to life. You understand what I'm saying? So that's born as well. You know what I mean? And born is also a completion of a cipher. Because a cipher is a circle which consists of 360 degrees. You understand what I'm saying? So that means it goes all the way around like this, right? So an eight is two ciphers on top of each other because that's building, right? And born is a cipher, a nine, the numeral nine is a cipher like this with a line leading away because that cipher is complete. They finish with that cipher, so they leaving, and that's why the nine go like that. And um, the last one is knowledge cipher, but I told you what knowledge is because knowledge is to look, listen, observe, analyze the situation for what it really is and not for what it appears to be. Um, and cipher is person, places, and things. It's a 360 degree circle consisting of life, man, woman, and child, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, or knowledge the born. You know what I mean? Because that's a cipher. You feel me? And um, my name is Unique Lashim Allah Understanding. I appreciate y'all listening to me. From my heart, I'm building with my brothers and sisters and just trying to teach whoever want to learn. My YouTube channel is called Keep Low. Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the love. You know what I mean? I got more gems coming for y'all. I got more jewels to just drop on y'all. You feel me? And um, I got these Keep Low shirts. I got Keep Low apparel. It's a good look. Like I said, I don't have one on today, but if you go through my videos, and please like and share my videos, you feel me? And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the love. This is Lashing the God. Yo, peace to y'all. Yo, love all of y'all. I just want to see y'all all grow, man. Keep building. Never stop building. Like the Father of Allah, the, found, the foundation of this nation, his name was Clarence 13X Smith. He said to keep building. You know what I mean? Like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he said, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. So keep learning every day, man, and just keep building your life, doing things that's constructive for you and your family, and just love one another, man. You feel me? We ain't perfect, but we strive for perfection. You feel me? Yo, this is Shame to God. Subscribe to the channel. Fuck me for real. Part of my profanity, but you know it's really real. But, um, and I'll say pardon me for that. But, um, Yo, just subscribe to the channel and bodies keep low shirts, give support. I appreciate the love. Love is love to all of you. Peace.